Most welcome to yet another recording, or yeah, another video about the overprotection of the E5 square with a slightly new theme we will see where the D4 square also becomes very important. So you who want to uh, read uh, the moves and timestamps to the video, please open the description and you will find it all there. So then we go. I will this time actually present one of my own games. I played it in January in a very nice tournament, uh, the Purple Fest in Goa in India, sponsored by the Goa government and organized by All India Chess Federation for the Blind. So congratulations for your efforts. And um, yeah, this was in round six, I think. I was white against a player. His uh, name is Venkat. Maybe I mispronounced the the name, but yeah, I apologize for that in such case. Uh, yeah, here we go. Let's stop. Put the first timestamp. So the takeoff by Delta Four may be a bit surprising because uh, the French defense normally starts with Echo 4, but I play Delta 4, but we will soon get there by trans transposition. Black played Echo 6, Echo 6, and now I pushed on Echo 4, pawn to Echo 4. Black played Delta 5, Delta 5, and um, yeah, I don't play that much classical games uh, no more. So often I adapt uh, the, the lines that I have been giving lectures on for my chess students. And in 2021, I actually gave a course over a weekend on this uh, advanced French with the sacrifice of the D4 pawn. Uh, so I had not updated a lot of what had happened since uh, August 2021, but yeah, nevertheless, I, I wanted to give it a try myself. So I kicked on with um, Echo 5. Echo 5. Black played Charlie 5. Charlie 5 attacking the center. I defended with Charlie 3. Pawn to Charlie 3. Black develops and puts more pressure on the center by Knight Charlie 6. Knight Charlie 6. And I also developed a knight protecting Knight Foxtrot 3. Knight to Foxtrot 3. Uh, the pressure on the Delta 4 pawn continues by Queen to Bravo 6. Queen to Bravo 6. And I played Bishop Delta 3. Bishop Delta 3. Black wisely played Charlie takes Delta 4. Charlie takes Delta 4. And yeah, please keep in mind you will play the black pieces in the French defense. Capture on Delta 4 here is the correct thing to do. Don't play bishop delta 7 because delta takes charlie 5 would render white an advantage. So we continue in the game and I play castles kingside. Castles kingside. Uh, black uh, doesn't want to capture on charlie 3, which is uh, good thinking. He instead develops a piece, um, Bishop Delta 7. Bishop Delta 7. And if I would have played this position today, I think I would have played Rook to Echo 1 here. Uh, but I, in a way, wanted to experiment a little bit, provoking Black to capture on Charlie 3. Uh, and then recapture with the pawn and see if I could, yeah, have the use for 
putting my knight on delta 4. So, uh, but this could have been done nicely a little later on. But I think rook echo 1 and pushing hotel 4, like Magnus Carlsen did in the prior video, the previous video, then it is, uh, yeah, I think that is the more flexible, better line. Uh, so I would have done that if I had been updating a little bit better before the game. But I played Knight Bravo to Delta 2. Knight Bravo to Delta 2. And yeah, it's not a bad move either. It can transpose if black anyway continues with Rook Echo 1 and pawn to Hotel 4. But it could be good to give black the chance to go wrong by Delta takes Charlie 3 when your knight still is on Bravo 1. So I think it could have been smarter to do that. But okay, we go on. Uh, knight golf to echo 7. Knight golf to echo 7. Um, and uh, yeah, he here as well, I think that uh, rook echo 1 could be a good move. But uh, yeah, I played knight to bravo free. Knight to bravo free. Now it seems, at least, I think it is a good thing to do if I can play Charlie takes delta 4, next move, and then having control of Charlie 5. That is, uh, yeah, an interesting uh, possibility. So now black takes delta takes Charlie 3. So now we have a change in the pawn structure. I play Bravo takes Charlie 3. So, and uh, yeah, we, we, we have a slight difference compared to the Carlson, Carlson Terry game that we had in the previous video. Then we also had this capture uh, on Charlie 3 when the knight had already left Bravo 1, but there the knight was on Delta 2. And then it was a natural thing to do, and a very effective way of playing was Charlie pushing the pawn to Charlie 4 quickly. Here, because I already showed my card a little bit too early, I would say, uh, uh, the Charlie 4 push is not as effective here as it would have been if the knight remained on delta 2. Because then after delta takes charlie 4, I cannot recapture recapture with the knight. I have to recapture with the bishop and then maybe transfer the knight to echo 4 or something. Not, not impossible that it could be a good way of playing as well. Uh, but that is also... Uh, it had been a an option if I had not already played knight bravo free. But this is uh, still an okay line for white. It's not that one way of playing is uh, the only one. So to say we can play in different ways and the position is about equal. Uh, black plays knight to golf 6. Knight to golf 6. Attacking echo 5. I played rook echo 1, rook to echo 1, and um, black develops bishop to echo 7. And, and I think that this is a good way of playing for black. Um, black should probably castle quite soon, castles kingside that is, and play Pawn to fox dot six. It might mean that black would have to accept some weaknesses in his own structure. After fox dot six, there can be an exchange on golf six. Bishop takes golf six, hotel captures on golf six, and then maybe an exchange on fox dot six. And um, uh, black would have a somewhat weakened pawn structure. But yeah, the pawn ahead and 
white bone structure is not the best in the world either. It's about equal play, as I already mentioned. Um, here, I think I should have played Rook Brow 1. Uh, ah, we can actually first move what I uh, do what I played. I played Pawn to Golf 3. Pawn to Golf 3. Playing Golf 3 is, um, yeah, the idea is, of course, to play Hotel 4. But you could have uh, probably postponed this uh, a little bit. If I instead I played Rook Row 1, the Rook stands well there, it's on a half open file. And if Black causes Kingside, then you can push Hotel 4 without playing Golf 3 first. Because after captures on Hotel 4, you have the possibility to take on H7 on Hotel 7 with Bishop followed by queen to hotel 5 check and then if there is a piece on hotel 4 you will recapture that one next move so golf 3 uh, yeah i should not have played it now after having been working with these lines preparing for those videos i would have played it a bit sharper um, develop pieces more quickly uh, golf 3 is not a terrible move I think, according to Stockfish, it is the fourth best move for white, but Rook Bravo 1, I think, would be the way to go. But I played Golf 3, and, and Black plays Queen to Charlie 7. Still decent way of playing. I protect with Queen Echo 2. I protect the Echo 5 pawn. And um, here still, I think that Probably black should go for castles and foxtrot six quickly. Um, but rook charlie eight was played, and that is by no means a bad move. But as we will see, if you delay castling too long, it might be too late. So rook charlie eight, probably with the intention of putting more pressure on my weak charlie three pawn. Here again, I, Rook Bravo 1 could have been played, but the move I I chose is uh, yeah, not not such a bad one either. Uh, Knight Bravo to Delta 4. Knight Bravo to Delta 4. And it... Yeah, the Knight on Delta 4 uh, might eventually jump to Bravo 5, and uh, jump in on delta 6 sometimes. So it is understandable that Black doesn't want to have to check if this jump hop would be good or not. So Black plays alpha 6. Alpha 6. And I... Uh, yeah, here also Rook Bravo 1 is a good move. I played a little bit over cautious Bishop Delta 2. Bishop Delta 2. Uh, I have learned since analyzing the game uh, that the Charlie 3 pawn can often be sacrificed in, in these lines. And um, therefore I would rather have developed the rook to the more active square and Bravo 1. Bishop Delta 2 might be a good move in the future, but I can't wait. I don't have to do it right now. But yeah, I did. And um, Black played Knight Alpha 5. Knight Alpha 5. It is a little difficult for me to really see the point of this move because uh, the knight, if it comes to Charlie 4, it optically looks okay to have it there, but it doesn't really do so much more there than on Charlie 6. So it also takes time. You will see that the black spends too much time playing with the same piece. And then 
Although I have played a little bit too slow with Call of 3 and Bishop Delta 2, I finally get back the time, so to say, and can start taking, grabbing space on the king's side. So, um, I played Rook Alpha Bravo 1, Rook Alpha Bravo 1. And black played knight charlie 4. Knight charlie 4. Still, uh, I, um, I think that castling and pushing foxtrot 6 might still be a better way. Uh, I haven't double checked it, but using so much time with the same knight uh, doesn't look good to me. Here, I should have pushed hotel 4. Uh, I instead moved to do the move I played. I played Bishop Charlie 1. Uh, Bishop Charlie 1. Um, putting the Bishop on Charlie 1 is uh, not terrible, but unnecessary. I should have played Hotel 4 because after having consulted uh, Stockfish 16.1 I have learned that if black then grabs the pawn by knight takes delta 2 queen takes delta 2 queen takes charlie 3 white has a winning advantage with queen echo 3 queen echo 3 simply keeping the queens on the board and uh, I am threatening Rook takes Bravo 7, sometimes even Rook Echo to Charlie 1 can come into consideration, and also White can push on with pawn to Hotel 5, forcing the Knight on Golf 6 to jump back to Foxtrot 8, and White can continue pushing on both sides. Um, yeah, probably Pawn to Hotel 6 would come soon if Black, uh, yeah, maybe Black has to go back with Queen to Charlie 7 to protect uh, the Bravo Pawn, for example. Then White can play on the King's side with Hotel 6. So, um, I didn't know the kind of position well enough during the game to sacrifice a second pawn. But I think I will work on it a bit more and uh, try to get a better feeling for, for the position. Uh, so, yeah, you have to test it, practice, and uh, yeah, then you would get a better feel for when actually you can sacrifice the second pawn and not. But okay, I played Bishop Charlie 1. Black played Knight Alpha 3. Knight to Alpha 3. And um, yeah, to me it seems just losing time. Uh, it doesn't, yeah, it protects the rook, but the rook will move and attack the knight that has to go back. So it gives white an extra tempo. I played Rook Bravo 3, Rook to Bravo 3. Black played Knight Charlie 4. So now I could actually push Hotel 4. I played Hotel 4 finally. And uh, yeah, now, now it starts to be difficult, maybe even dangerous to cause a king side, but sooner or later you have to do it. Uh, you can maybe play uh, Hotel 6, that is an op option here, but might continue with Hotel 5. And if the knight then goes back to Foxtrot 8, it is uh, taking a very passive position. If black plays pawn to Hotel 5, stopping white from playing Hotel 5, then uh, the G5 square would be very vulnerable. We can, uh, for example, think of white playing bishop to goal 5 and after exchanging dark squared bishop, 
playing knight to golf 5 with uh, both pressure on fox 7 and when the pawn is on hotel 5 then suddenly it is difficult for black to castle kingside that is an idea you can also think of playing knight to golf 5 without uh, first exchange in dark square bishop um, one can also think of playing bishop takes golf 6 the then black after recapturing foxtrot takes golf then uh, one can still uh, use the golf 5 square but also yeah, in playing in a decent moment, Queen Delta 3, pressurizing um, Golf 6. So it starts to be difficult, not for black to find good moves, and that is typical of this line. It doesn't necessarily be, it is not necessarily a big, big advantage for whites, this thing, but in practice, it is difficult to play black because um, your king is still in the center the rook on hotel 8 remains undeveloped and, uh, yeah so it's a little it's a little annoying pressure on the black position all the time okay after hotel 4 uh, black played uh, knight alpha 5 knight alpha 5 I retreat, rook, bravo 1, rook to bravo 1, and black actually commits a mis decisive mistake. Queen takes Charlie 3, which is a losing move. But white actually had a very strong, uh, big advantage already. The knight going back to alpha 5 gives up the pressure on echo 5 so white is more free to attack on the king side uh, instead of queen takes charlie 3 we come back to what happened in the game soon yeah black said so after the game thought that bishop charlie 5 would give him uh, a future without words uh, Maybe that is the case, but it will be a very short future. Uh, if you play bishop charlie 5, the idea probably would be to be able to move the knight back to echo 7 from golf 6, but that is okay for white. White can play hotel 5, the bishop retreats to uh, foxtrot 8 or echo 7. Both things give, both moves give white very clear advantage. Let's, for example, imagine that white pushes with hotel 6. Here black should probably capture, but then black's position is really, or structure is really scattered. Uh, white can easily grab on hotel 6 with the bishop. Then uh, uh, the hotel 7 point would be weak, especially if it is the knight retreated to to um, echo 7 instead of foxtrot 8 a plan from white can be to uh, yeah put pressure on on uh, hotel 7 simply or playing the queen to foxtrot 4 knight to goal 5 yeah, so white has a lot of good options, and Stockfish evaluates the position to one, approximately one and a half pawn better for white. If you, after Hotel 6, would think, oh, I'll play Golf 6, keeping the pawn structure a bit more harmonious, you still suffer from the weakness, weaknesses on the dark squares. And the white pawn on Hotel 6 is a major um, power factor in the position. White can, for example, move the bishop to call five, threatening to play bishop fox to six. The black rook moves, 
and you play knight to call five, threatening to capture on hotel seven. And if you manage to take that pawn, you can then just retreat the knight, and the threat is, of course, to play hotel seven yourself uh, and promote on hotel eight. If black in one way or another manages to defend about such ideas, white can also uh, play knight hotel 2 to call 4, and then the threat is to jump in on foxtrot 6, which also would be a bit uh, troublesome for the black monarch. But okay, queen takes charlie 3 made it far easier for me, but I just show the little bit. This game is interesting, not because it was perfectly played by it, by, by me or anything like that. Far from that. I should have played it more, um, yeah, knowing that I could sacrifice the Charlie Pawn, for example, played Hotel 4 earlier, so on. But, um, this is how chess often is on, on my level. I'm, okay, feed the master. Now about 2200 in rating, so going down a little bit, probably because I'm not uh, 20 years anymore. Um, but yeah, so, so the games of course on my level are not as perfect as uh, the games of Magnus Carlsen, for example. Uh, but that I share with most of you, so you can learn even more from weaker players' games, because they are more similar to the, the positions that you will find yourself playing in your games, maybe. Okay, queen takes Charlie 3 was played. I now play bishop delta 2. Bishop delta 2. That... Uh, Threatens also black must retreat, uh, move the queen, and protecting, and protect uh, uh, alpha five. So black plays queen to Charlie seven, queen to Charlie seven, and I swapped on alpha five. Bishop takes alpha five, and black recaptures. Queen takes alpha five. Queen takes alpha five, and now we see that the rook on the bravo file actually could do his job now playing rook takes bravo 7 rook takes bravo 7 so uh, it was not losing a pawn on charlie 3 it was just changing the c for the b pawn the charlie pawn for the bravo pawn and um, more important now the rook is really difficult for black to handle when it stands on the seventh rank. And the threat of pushing the hotel pawn remains, and yeah, it's simply over. Um, black plays rook, delta eight, rook to delta eight. Uh, yeah, you see that black couldn't, for example, castle because then the bishop would be hanging. It would drop on delta seven. Uh, so now black protects, but then I push hotel five, hotel five, threatening the knight. So the knight has to retreat to foxtrot eight. Knight foxtrot eight. Here we can actually see that I had some little use for having the board on golf free. Uh, black couldn't jump to foxtrot four. Even if it, yeah, that, that uh, probably I would have to do something about that before put, pushing Hotel 5 if the pawn had remained on Golf 2. But now actually things worked out in my favor. And uh, I employ a principle that is very well known. Uh, when you launch the attack, try to involve all your pieces. So I played Rook Charlie 1, Rook to Charlie 1. Now, for example, threatening Rook Charlie to Charlie 7. 
So we can see here black is so cramped now that there are no moves to, fi to find. And in such situations, it often happens that you blunder. And that is what happens now. Bishop to Charlie 5. Bishop to Charlie 5. Yeah, of course, the bishop move, having it on Charlie 5, is punished by white's next move. But if black had played something else, it's still very difficult to see how he could survive. White can probably even take, grab the alpha 6 pawn, which makes it possible to, for the bishop, white's light squared bishop to join the attack, maybe going to bravo 5 or something like that. And the alpha pawn on an alpha 2 actually becomes a big strength in, uh, yeah, especially in the endings. It's an outside past pawn and we are equal in material and black can hardly breathe. So bishop charlie 5 was punished by knight to bravo 3. Yeah, forking the bishop and the queen. And as I also have the rook on Charlie 1, it wins a piece. I just showed the remaining moves pretty quickly, just for completion. Uh, bishop takes foxtrot 2 check. Bishop takes foxtrot 2, at least getting a pawn for the piece. Black, white recaptures. Queen takes foxtrot 2. Uh, yeah, actually, black has two pawns for the piece, but that is irrelevant. Uh, it, what is relevant is where your pieces are placed and uh, black pieces are not very active. Um, queen to alpha 4. Queen to alpha 4 was played. I play knight to golf 5. Threatening checkmate. Queen takes fox to 7. Black uh, defense by playing Fox shot six. I captured. Echo takes Fox shot six. Black played golf six. Yeah, it's not important to discuss. Uh, golf takes Fox shot six and Queen takes Fox shot six. Yeah, the game is over. Uh, but now after golf six, I play Queen Charlie five, which. Uh, comes with the threat of playing queen to echo seven checkmate. And here, understandably, black thought it was better to call it day and resigned. So this was by far not a perfect play by me nor by me nor by my opponent. Uh, but I think it illustrates some of the practical problems that you face in, in such a game where white has this annoying little pressure. We also can learn that the knight can be placed on delta 4, rook on bravo 1, and you play for pressure on both wings. And we also see that sometimes you can actually sacrifice the pawn on charlie 3. And uh, if that gives you even more open files and uh, space advantage and such things. So, I hope that you enjoyed the game and we'll be back with more materials soon.